Stig Blomqvist, Walter Rohr, Andre Lotterer, Ken Block. From the world of rallying to Formula E, Audi's history is peppered with many motoring greats, and this winner of our 2022 Premium Electric Sedan of the Year is now set to add another chapter in Audi's illustrious history books. What we have here is the Audi e-tron GT. But this isn't just your regular premium sedan. You see, while previous greats from Audi were going head-to-head -head against its rivals from the world of motorsport or otherwise, this car is going up against something far, far greater. It's called global warming, and it's taking up more and more airtime whenever the newscaster comes on. Like it or not, it's going to adversely affect us one way or another. This is that big, singular challenge that every manufacturer is taking key steps to tackle. And that's exactly where this Audi e-tron GT comes in. Let's hop in and I'll explain more. Yep, it's electric and that's exactly what the doctor ordered when it comes to reducing our carbon footprint. However, there's more. So we know nowadays that there are plenty of electric cars out there. So we have many choices to cater to a diverse range of customer profiles and needs. But we do reckon that this e-tron GT is just a little bit more special. Now, when the e-tron GT was first introduced here in Singapore in late 2021, all electric options in this price range and with this breadth of capability were few and far between. So Audi, of course, had their e-tron SUV. However, with a sedan, your expectations when it comes to performance and handling are naturally raised. And the way this e-tron GT delivers is nothing short of impressive. With 469 brake horsepower on tap, there is always plenty power to get you quickly to places if you need to, right? So if I just put my foot down, it's super, super quick and all that performance and acceleration is always instantly repeatable. And it's crazy to think that this isn't even the performance variant of this car. But of course, in Singapore, no one's really going to be deploying all of that performance all the time, right? So that's just the nature of our roads and stuff like that. However, I think knowing that you have that performance in reserve and the fact that when you're merging onto the highway from a slip road, it's going to be super easy. I think all these contributes to that truly effortless driving experience. And out on some twisty roads, this e-tron GT is actually quite fun to drive. So it is a wide, heavy, big car, but I must say on the road, it's actually easy to play. So this is helped by the fact that the steering is fairly light and very accurate, so you know exactly where you are. And with this car having a very low center of gravity and all-wheel drive, there's always plenty of traction. So, you know, if you're out on a nice set of flowing roads, it's, it's a fun car to drive, I must say. It's really, really quite fun. And I think that speaks to the fact that this car fundamentally has performance DNA in it. So yes, there is true sportiness here, right? However, where I think the e-tron GT truly excels is in long distance driving. And that's in the name, right? GT Grand Tour. And that's because it feels very, very stable, even at very high speed. So obviously we're not gonna do crazy speeds here, but having driven this car at quite high speeds, it still feels very planted. You know, it's a heavy car after all. Lots of traction and the fact that you have plenty of performance on tap, you never feel like, oh, you're struggling for a little bit more performance or power. It always gives you more if you demand more from it. And I think with the way the car is set up as well, it's damped well. It's not overly firm, so you know, it has quite a lot of give in the suspension. It's very comfortable over sort of less perfect surfaces. And it just makes for a really nice, comfortable driving experience, even if you're going rather quickly. And that is, I think, fundamentally the grand touring experience, right? And of course, this being an all-electric car, it is also very quiet. And I think that actually adds to that perpetual sense of classiness and of quality. And you know, with the way the car feels, the way the car drives, it is a proper luxury car. And let's be real, fundamentally, this is a luxury car. 
that's precisely the appeal of this car, right? It feels high class, it feels expensive, it feels high quality, and there's just that constant sense of refinement, of classiness, and all around quality. Now, of course, we also have to talk about range. So another great thing about this car is the fact that you have a pretty sizable 93 kilowatt hour battery, and that will give you a real world driving range of up to 450 km on a single charge. And that is honestly plenty. Now, park up, exit the car, and the other key quality about this e-tron GT immediately stands out. It's just a beautiful thing to look at. So this sedan body style has been impeccably sculpted, and it's really a form that just flows. So, you know, it looks purposeful yet effortless, sporty yet tranquil. And, you know, I must say amidst a sea of SUVs today, electric or otherwise, a beautifully crafted low slung sedan just stands out and I think that is something special. And it's not like you're making compromises with a sedan body style either. So here we have 405 litres of boot space and that's plenty for your family's groceries or when you need to head out for a round of golf with your friends on the weekend. Great efforts have also been made to be eco-conscious. So the wheels of this car are made from aluminium manufactured via a low carbon production process. And this interior carpets have been made from 100% recycled nylon fibers and the seats can be had with artificial leather and fabric trim. And what an interior this is. So first thing I like is the fact that you sit nice and low in the car which I think is very fitting for a car design with performance and grand touring in mind. It's also a driver-centric cabin so you have this neatly designed dashboard with the screen slightly tilted towards the driver so you know everything's easy to reach right. And beyond that it is a typical Audi car, so you're gonna have nice, expensive premium materials, top-notch sort of workmanship here, and all in all, it's a quality luxury cabin. And we also have to talk about the MMI. So this is Audi's MMI, it's foolproof, it's easy to use, and I just think it's simple, obvious, and functional. Beyond just its sheer capability as an EV and its blend of comfort and sportiness, what elevates this e-tron GT is the way that it shows us what is possible when it comes to sustainable luxury motoring. So this is a flagship model and it does truly set a high benchmark, something for the brand as well as customers to aspire to. And that's why it's our 2022 premium electric sedan of the year. Don't be surprised if it goes down in history with many more accolades. <laughs>